Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video I'll show you how I take paperless class notes on my iPad, even when I'm given paper handouts. So I did a video a while ago showing how I take paperless notes when I have been given a digital copy of the PowerPoint slides in advance. So I'm in a hybrid distance learning program, so this happens fairly frequently for me. However, since then I've been asked a bunch of times how to do it if you are provided with printed handouts of PowerPoint slides. So recently I've done a bunch of full day trainings which almost always provide paper handouts, so I've had to figure this out since I don't want to go home with a giant ream of paper that I won't be able to find in two days. So the first thing I do is take photos of each page of the handout, but for my system to work, you have to take the photos starting at the end of the handout and working towards the beginning. So this is an important step. Take photos of each page of the handout in reverse order from the end to the beginning. So sometimes if you are taking photos in a really dark area, they aren't great quality. If you want to increase the contrast, like with a scan, you can use iOS's built-in scan function. function. It's not precisely what we need, but we can make it work. So open up the Notes app, start a new note, hit the plus sign to add media, and then choose Scan Documents. So now allow this tool to capture each page with the nice scan contrast. So here's the problem. It automatically creates a PDF out of these scans, but we actually need photos for my process to work. So go through, starting at the end of the handouts and working to the beginning, and take a screenshot of each page. Again, this is a lot more work, so I wouldn't do this unless you absolutely have to. Okay, once you've done that, you gotta figure out how many slides you want on a single page of your notes. So handouts can be provided in a bunch of ways. Sometimes you'll only get one slide per page, sometimes two, and sometimes four or six. So I happen to like either four or six slides per page for note-taking purposes. One slide per document or per page makes the document too long, and anything more than six slides would be too busy to take proper notes. So please note that if the handout you were provided has exactly the number of slides that you want on your note pages, you can just use the scanning function from inside the Notes app and then hit the share button to send this PDF to your note-taking app, in my case, Notability. Okay, so in order to get multiple slides on one page of notes, I use an app called PhotoPrint. I needed to upgrade to the Pro version for a one-time cost of $1.99 so that I could un unlock all of the options, but I think that that is a bargain. Okay, so when you launch the app, you will have the ability to choose how you want the photos to be arranged. So say my handout only had one slide per page, then maybe I would choose four photos per page, either vertical or horizontal, or six per page. But if the handout already contained two slides per page, then I would probably stick with two photos per note-taking page. So once I've chosen the layout, I tap on one of these blanks so that I can choose my photos. I navigate to all photos, and then I pick all the ones that I have taken of my handouts. So you can see that the app doesn't give you any options to sort these photos, which is why we needed to take them in reverse order. So once I hit done, the app organizes them for me on multiple pages, and so then I check through them and make sure that they look good. By hitting this edit button up here, I can move photos within the same page, but in order to move them to a different page, I would need to delete that photo and then re-add it. Okay, so now that I've gotten these pages looking the way that I want them, I want to convert all of these into a PDF and then import them into my note-taking app. So there are a couple of ways that you can do this, but once you've purchased the pro version of PhotoPrint, it gives you a nice share button that allows you to easily convert to PDF and then send it somewhere else. So I take all of my handwritten notes in Notability, so I choose to send my PDF there. So now when I go into Notability Next, I have the option to import this file. So I create, so I hit create new note to bring it in. So now I can write, make connections, and draw to my heart's content, and it's all paperless, so I can find it later easily, and I won't have this giant pile of paper cluttering up my workspace. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.